Hey guys, so I just figured I would actually do some zodiacs on screen. Sometimes I get different kind of energy and messages that way. So I'm gonna do Gemini's right now and see what is going on with my Gemini's, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is a love reading for today, which is the 27th, and we are gonna go until um, December 5th, okay? Or December 4th, sorry. Can't believe it's December already. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, what wants to come through in love for you? If you happen to find this video at another time and it resonates, take the messages as they resonate, okay? Because these videos can be timeless as well. Okay, so let's see, Gemini. I'm going to get three overall cards. Okay, we have five of pentacles. This is some being left out in the cold, being left out. Um, there could have been a situation where like you weren't invited to something. This is a love reading, but I will tap into some other energies. Um, you could have felt like you were disregarded or um, you're, you're holding this energy of being not appreciated, not valued, and also loss of losing something, of being shut out. Someone may be just like not communicating with you here. Oh, yes, we've got the tower, okay? And King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, you see the King of Pentacles is mostly Taurus, but it could be Capricorn or Virgo. Um, so yeah, I feel like things may have fell apart with an earth sign or this could even be uh, some sort of um, financial loss here. Definitely. Okay. You might have been like kind of on your game financially and now you feel like you're kind of scrapping or, you know, um, looking for scraps. <laughs> um not literally, could be literally, but more so you're just not doing as well. Something really reconfigured um, that. But this could also be a love dynamic that you're dealing with someone who um, is going through a major tower moment when it comes to money. And they could actually be kind of disconnecting from you and that could be why, but you could not be realizing it, okay? Because they could be going through this like major financial loss here. All right, let's get a couple more cards about that, Gemini. Could have had a big fight with an earth sign as well here. What is this about? Ace of Cups and Temperance, okay? So, um, interesting. Uh, there's a couple messages that are coming through here. So, I do feel there's a lot of love here. This person could, out of nowhere, end up giving you um, their love. But also, I feel this could have been an imbalance when it came to emotions, okay? Someone could have been emotionally imbalanced or um so one person could have like cared a lot more than the other or one person could be like not comfortable with that much display of emotions and it was like it was just too much for them the temperance is usually pouring like the cups between them and this is like overflowing so in some way you just kind of felt like imbalanced this is sagittarius energy too that's really interesting The devil, Capricorn energy, another earth sign. Yeah, um, there's a lot of like shadow and like kind of um, fears that came through here. And the Hierophant, a lot of major arcanas. Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus came up twice. Definitely could be uh, dealing with a Taurus. Um, I feel a lot of this is like maybe lessons for um, this other person or for you regarding, um, I don't know, I'm hearing the word judgment. Like, maybe things weren't what they seemed or maybe like there's a shadow element that has come up through this that someone has to work out of like um being kind of rigid around like um ideas about things that's what i'm getting like this rigidity because taurus could be very rigid and um i feel like with the devil it's kind of like people are being forced to face like i don't know like shadow elements within them Okay, all right, let's get from the Sunshine and Rainbows from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. What other energies are going on here, Gemini? Gemini. 
wine and roses happiness bliss prosperity see i feel actually what is also happening here is like this was like a love gone wrong it was like very sweet very loving very open and then suddenly someone just like closed themselves off and it could be due to money stress okay we've got the tiger here this is like the um 1974 so then that would be 19 86 year born and then 1998 okay whoever's like born in the year of the tiger uh the stewardess divine feminine gemini libra aquarius this is a flight attendant um an air sign okay uh will support their partner and their okay so this is someone who's very accommodating the mini mineralogist taurus virgo capricorn look at this air sign and another earth sign okay so the other thing i feel like is someone here is very like grounded and they like things kind of like very predictable and someone here is very like they like kind of more like that airy flowing freedom okay they like to maybe be free they don't want to be tied down they don't want to be have things so predictable and then we have the dog this could be someone born the year of the dog there could be something um i this said the globe sorry guys and it says well traveled enjoys meeting you definitely could be dealing with someone that's in the airline industry oh my god you guys we have the puppy and the dog you'll be the best of friends so this was a thing of and loyalty came up okay so this was a value system about loyalty and then the singer the music energy this love connection will have you singing from the rooftops this was like a friendship this was someone who it's almost like i feel like you guys were yin and yang there was a deep friendship there was definitely something with dogs but or just it, loyalty came up too. a very supportive partner in love and romance dependable trustworthy so i feel like it was like and the hierophant is also like a long-term commitment so i feel like this is something that could have been really like um you thought you thought it was like really built for the long term and as someone that you thought like was really loyal and transparent and committed and someone like i feel like there was a betrayal there was like an abandonment someone like dipped out like unexpectedly and maybe not physically but like emotionally or um loyal like in loyalty wise oh my god okay all these cards just fell so let's see what else what other energies this is silhouettes from carrie from celestial forecast what happened here there could have been even like a fight over a dog or something like that i don't know but it's like a I don't know, I just heard the word cat fight too. It's like there was a cat fight. There was definitely a tower moment here. <sighs> Legacy, the decisions, the actions you make today will affect the future. Be mindful of what you choose to leave behind. That's the thing is someone might have abandoned someone here, but now they realize they regret it. Lucidity, clarity will come once we open ourselves to the truth of our reality. That's and soul bond forever connected regardless of time. I feel like someone walked away here and they weren't thinking clear and they don't realize they didn't realize that we have nightfall there's nothing to be afraid of as long as you're with me i just picked up two splash the thing between you and i let's dive in and get wet but i feel like um this was a connection that someone i feel like just felt they could walk away from and then we have picture perfect on the bottom here that's what i felt like it was and then now that they've walked away they're like kind of like realizing it was not about like there was and second chances here on the bottom of this deck which i haven't even shuffled yet this relationship deserves a second chance but it wasn't like about um what people thought it was about like they walked away thinking well i'm gonna just walk away because of this or money or whatever but then they realized this is a deeper thing and there's a deeper lesson here so let's see what does this person want to communicate to you gemini could also be for cross watchers what would gemini want to commute communicate to them i'm starting to understand our connection you see there's a lot more clarity now this lucidity like in that space where there might have been a battle a battle a battle or a fight clarity will come once we open ourselves up to the truth of our reality sometimes painful sometimes beautiful but through our own epiphany the sun can shine again you see, so I'm starting to understand our connection. I do feel like there, I mean, there's a soul bond here too. So it's like, 
you can separate from someone in the 3D. You can abandon someone or someone can abandon you, but that doesn't change that soul bond. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. This person almost felt this like spiritual pressure. Songs remind me of you. This is the second time music has come up, guys. So um, just take that, okay? I'm going to pull two more. I can be myself with you and I can't get enough of you. So I definitely feel this person values your connection. They may have not, they may have also been dealing with a lot of demons that you don't know about, like other um, parties involved. Like I'm almost getting like their parents, this is really weird, but like their parents had like a fallout in their marriage in that time or something about their family structure was falling apart and it was creating a lot of like lack of clarity within them and a lot of fears and a lot of like abandonment issues. All right, guys, so, um, and I, yeah, and I also feel they could have, like, blamed it on you uh, subconsciously. I hope this reading resonates, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reading where I'm on screen. I'll see you guys soon, and I'm going to do an extended on my Patreon. I have to do my extended sometime in the next couple days. Bye, Geminis.